Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Jewel and welcome. Welcome to my channel. Okay guys, for all of us with CKD, the National Kidney Foundation and all the kidney organizations, plus our clinics, transplant centers have given us enough time before this uh, pandemic came to be really, really widespread. So most of us and all of us, hopefully, have all the things that we need at home. We have food um, for kidney diet that the National Kidney Foundation has suggested. We have all of our medicines. We are staying at home to be careful, you know, about going into society. But for those of us with dialysis and are doing dialysis, which have to keep going through their treatments three or four times a week, we are sending you love and care. Wishing you well, hoping you guys um, doing well just to get through this, guys. So I have been wondering about what's going on with transplants during this time of COVID-19. Um, so the National Kidney Foundation has some information that I would like to share with you. So let's get started. Transplant and the coronavirus. How can COVID-19 affect transplant surgeries? This is a statement from the American Society of Transplantation. The risk of acquiring COVID-19 from organ donation is low. Donors are being screened for COVID-19 symptoms and exposure history. Living donors who have been to high-risk areas or exposed to someone diagnosed for being are being evaluated for COVID-19 infections and are generally asked to postpone donation for 14 to 28 days after returning. Some organ procurement organizations are testing some or all donors for COVID-19. Also, living donors are being asked to not travel to high-risk areas for at least 14 days before donation and to monitor symptoms. Information about recent travel and possible exposure is also asked about deceased donors to help determine if it is safe to use them for organ or tissue donation. Okay, everybody, this is transplant and the coronavirus. As you see, um, organ transplants are still taking place, guys. So you may still get that call. You know, that has not stopped. They are just being very, very cautious and very, very careful about, you know, all donors that are coming in, especially living donors for transplant, you know, and tissue to make sure that they are, you know, haven't been in areas which coronavirus has been um, very prevalent and if they have been, they are asked to to wait it out for at least 14 to 28, day, 28 days to make sure they don't have any symptoms before um, donating. And all of those that are, you know, especially deceased donors, they are being carefully um, screened also to make sure that they were not in any um, areas with a high risk of coronavirus. So transplantations are still taking place. People are still getting transplants from, you know, for organs and tissue. Things are just being very, very, um, very screened right now, more so than they ever have been for this coronavirus. But as they said, um, um, coronavirus and transplantation from what they see is very, very low. But, you know, at this point, you know, all we can do is just wait to see what's going to happen. And like I said, for those of those of us that are waiting for transplant, it is still going on. Um, you know, it may be a little delay, you know, for a small um, for a small time, but they're still happening, guys. And your chance you haven't lost your chance for transplantation at this time. They are just um, being very, very cautious about, you know, the coronavirus to make sure that all living donors and deceased donors have not been in areas affected. And if they have been, especially for the living donors, they're asked to wait at least 14 to 28 days to postpone their um, their donation to make sure they have no symptoms for coronavirus. So I just wanted to inform all of those that are waiting still
for transplant that they are still happening, that um, they're just being very, very cautious right now because of the virus, and um, that you don't have to worry that they are still going on and um, they're all still taking place. So guys, I still want you to know, all of you guys, that we are thinking about you. At least I am. I'm thinking about you so, so much. And all the other organizations, of course, is thinking about you too. You know, all the information that you need for kidney disease and the coronavirus is on the National Kidney Foundation and all kidney um, organizations right now. Every question that you want asked is there for all the information that they have that's available right now for everything they know. So guys, just take care of yourselves and know that you have to continue to be compliant with your doctor's orders. You have to continue to be hopeful, guys. Continue to be cautious, but not afraid. And to always be hopeful, because remember, this too shall pass like everything else that this earth has gone through. So guys, take care of yourselves and I will see all of you on the next video. Bye.